G'day, this is Michael from uh, Aussie 3D. I'm here with Guy. Um, we've just gotten our brand new Ultimaker 3 Woo! extended. So pretty excited, pretty keen to get it get it open and uh, see if it's as good as what uh, everyone makes it out to be because it looks like an awesome, awesome 3 Ooh, what have we got here? This is the PVA. Yes. So this is the dissolvable filament. Ah, two colour yes, print. It's a test print, a dual dual extrusion test print. Just to show what the machine's capable of. Alright, so let's And we've got a seat belt, great. We've got a seat belt. <laughs> That is looking very nice. This is our accessory box. Okay, quick start guide. I'm sure we'll use that. Not. Ah, glass build plate. Very nice. We'll get to you in a second. Ah, this is what I really want to see. Okay, 0.4 nozzles. These are the fast changeables. Very nice. Thermal couple. Oil. Nice. Oil. Well, you don't see that every day. Bit of maintenance. Ah, look at this. Some USB. USB. Welcome to the 21st century 3D printing. 16 gigabytes. Verbatim. Very good brand. Now we have a spool holder. For the double for two rolls of filament. This, I have no idea what this is for. Grease, there you go. Greasing up the rail. Yep. Make sure you've got a well greased machine. It's Screw nice. down. It's a nice Allen head screwdriver. Yeah. Very nice. Uh, battery pack. The power pack. Okay, that's all our accessories. Magnetic. That's cool. That's a really so good So do we have one head in there already? We have one head, 0.4 head in there. So we get three heads to start with. Let's see how this goes in. Okay, that's in there properly. It almost clicks in like a, a toner ink. Ink cartridge. Yeah, yeah, it's very ink cartridge like. And then we'll close you back up. Yeah, that really is cool. Little magnets. Yeah, like it. If you come around the back, uh, we can have a look at the new feeding system. So the feeding system is actually the same as the 2 Plus. So it's got the release here, pull it up, and then you push it through. So we'll do a um, We'll do a feeding of it in a couple of minutes. Okay, so it's asking us to select the Wi-Fi network. So if you come across the to the Mac, we click on the Wi-Fi and down the bottom, you'll notice that there's a UM for Ultimaker. And we click on that. And in a moment, it should connect, woohoo. We've, uh, we've got connection. Start Wi-Fi setup, betcha. We'll pause this. You guys don't need to see that. Now that we've put in our code, uh, we're going to connect it. And here we go. Here we go. Beautiful. Done. All right. So that's all connected up. So, okay. So now we're good to go. Let's run a um, the startup. All right. So saying that, yes, we've named the printer. We'll hit continue. It's going to check for a firmware update. And we recommend that you update that firmware. Well, you need to because Ultimaker hasn't set it properly when they first came out. So the firmware is the first thing you need to do once you um, get started because it actually has come out. The first lot of Ultimakers 
um, have come out with the wrong firmware. So that's the very first thing. I'm going to show you guys something really cool here up in the nozzles. Oh, that's blue. Look at the colour. That's cool as. Look at the colour there. Blue LEDs inside the, the nozzles there. That's really nice. Okay, so we'll just give you a bit of information on the hot end while, uh, so while the firmware is updating. The, the stats on these guys. Now, the nozzles aren't replaceable. So if you do come into a, a problem with these and they need to be replaced, you're going to have to replace the whole unit. So one of the things I would highly recommend is you don't use some of the experimental filaments. Your, your carbon fibre blend with PLAs, your bronzes, all your metals, your coppers, things like that, just because if you use them, you're gonna chew through that nozzle pretty quickly. I'd imagine you're only gonna get a month or two out of it, and you're gonna to have to spend about 180 bucks um, to get a brand new one, um, which is a, is an idea. Yeah. All right, so installing the firmware for us now, and we should be on our way very shortly. Here we go, something happened. Something off. Ooh, so. <laughs> So it's just installed the new firmware, so it will shut itself down and boot itself back up again. So that whole process took us under five minutes to um, install the firmware. So that was very fast, so it shouldn't take you very long at home to do that. Well, this is taking five minutes myself. <laughs> All right, so now, as you can see, it's updating the motion controller. More than likely, it's gonna go through and it's gonna update quite a few things, being this is the first time that it's been unboxed the first time it's had power to it. Basically, saying to remove all filament from the stool holders. So, you know what? We will do that. Alright, place new spool on the stool holder. Okay. We will put the PVA on printhead or print core 2. Now, if you look underneath here, you've got a little, little silver thing. That's where we're feeding the filament up into very carefully. First part of these rolls is finding the end. Now what you might want to do is make sure that you get the roll on the right way so it feeds correctly. It's the same sort of a little silver hole where the burden or where the filament will feed through. Oh, look, she's red now. And if you look carefully, you'll see the filament traveling all the way through. We're halfway there with the heating. Seems to be a very quick heat up time on this uh, new Ultimaker. It doesn't take long at all for it to reach temperature. And here we go again with loading material in. Mm. 
All right, so again, it's going to feed the filament all the way and actually come out the nozzle there. We're actually going to see some filament start coming out the end very shortly. Now this can take a little bit of time because it is feeding very, very slowly. But you want that to feed slowly to start off with. You want to make sure that the filament's going in nice and correctly. Otherwise you could come up with blockages and all sorts of bad things. There we go, we've got some filament coming out, that's a nice string there. 